The first thing I'm going to show you is how to tune your guitar. No matter how well you can play, it wouldn't really make much sense or it wouldn't be nice to listen to if your guitar is out of tune. That is why it's very important that you first get your guitar in tune. To do that, you're going to be needing a tuner. This is my tuner and um, I can just attach it at the top of the guitar head here and um, I'll put it on. You can see it's on. It comes on and it shows me the string A and key there. Now for those of you who cannot afford a tuner or don't have one yet, I believe you have a mobile device or a computer. Of course you wouldn't if you're if you, you wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. So just download one of the apps, Guitar Tuner. Go to the app store and type Guitar Tuner. You can get a good app there. So what we want to achieve is to have our guitar in tune. And um, to do that, we need to know what we want to tune it to. Every guitar or a regular guitar has six strings, counting from the thinnest to the thickest. We go one, two, three, four, five and six so and each string has to have its own unique sound now just take this as a theory for now the thickest string is six it's supposed to be on e the string five is supposed to be on a string four should be d string three should be g String 2 should be B and string 1 should be E again on the higher octave this time. So you know what you're looking for. Just in case you didn't have that down, you can just go back on the video and write it down so that you, um, you memorize it. So I'll just need to pluck my string 6 here. Okay, my string 6 is already in tune. But let me distune it for the purpose of this video. Let me distune all the strings for the purpose of learning here. Okay, so it's out of tune now. Now I'll pluck my sixth six string. And uh, to tune my sixth string, I'll just adjust this peg here, this peg at the head. I'm turning it, I'm tightening it for it to. And you can hear change in the sound as you tighten it. Loosening it also changes the sound. So it depends on where you want to move either upward or downward on the music scale. I'm looking for E. The moment my tuner shows me green, that means it's tuned. Yeah, there we go. I hope you can see this. Yeah, it's green on E. So my E is tuned and mind you, I'm turning it counterclockwise to tighten so that you don't, you don't fix your strings and then have it clockwise for tightening. The tightening should be counterclockwise. That is why I have my strings arranged this way and not behind peg so let's continue now we're down to string five and we say string five should be what a let's go through this again e a d g b e for easy remembrance what i do is i have an acronym every adult deserves gbe stands for bedu i'm a nigerian and i reside in lagos so bedu is the main thing so <laughs> that's on latin though so a my tuner is showing me that this string is out of tune and it is too high so i need to turn it clockwise to loosen it and you see the dial there the dial has stayed on the middle showing me that i'm in tune there now to the next one and the next is the fourth string, which should be what? If we go E, A, then this should be D. Our D is 
is correct now mind you you will either need to turn it um, counterclockwise to tighten or clockwise to loosen depending on the position of your dial on your tune if if your note is too high above the required or desired notes you need to loosen it so it will get lower but if your note is low way lower than the desired tune then you need to tighten it so that the note gets higher okay so we're going now to the third string and the third string i said earlier should be g standard tuning there are many other kinds of tuning depending on how you want to play your um, chords or melody now the standard tuning has it like i said earlier as a sorry e a d g b e counting from the string number six down to string number one okay so if you also want to tune your guitar on your own like an exercise though you can give out your guitar to somebody let them distune it or you distune it by yourself and try tuning it again take note also that my count clockwise movement for you will look like anti-clockwise that is because this is my right and this is my left but i am facing you and it will seem like this is my left and this is my right so take note of that so that when you want to tune you turn counterclockwise to tighten and clockwise to loosen. It is very important. Thank you. So if you've liked this video, do well to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Instagram at Quick Slime. See you at the next video. Bye-bye.